Hey, welcome back to this part three to our watching of three. Darn Amana High. If you saw us on YouTube, you saw very good. Darn Amana High. Because it's a copyright reasons for XC full and cover. Darn Amana High. Thanks to the Patreon or Shem Membership. Ah. Just reach out when it comes to go check that out. And in this part, we'll talk about it and review it. <gasps> okay? Okay. Let's finish this movie, huh? Darn Amana High. Move. How about that? The mass here, can't say. Mail it. Okay, I keep. I'm going to stop. Okay. Stop! Okay, let's still move up there. <laughs> Stop! Jab chahu. Jise chahu rok sakta. Or just said stop again. Move kara sakta. Dekho. Maybe he has to say it in English. Oh. The power of the white man's words. <laughs> Can you make put up please? Mujhe dar lag raha hai. Main yahan se ja rahi hu. Would you can't you see that I love you? No, oh, yeah, that's love, bro. Sure. I jab I love you Abhilasha. Do you love me? <laughs> I don't think so. Yes, yes, of course. Yes. <laughs> I knew it. Ye ghar hai ghar. Koi hotel ya sarai nahi hai jahan chale aate ho sone aur khane. Are main tumse baat kar raha hu. Stop. Smoking again. We got a whole really got a message about smoking. Stop. <laughs> Careful what you wish for, baby. अच्छा हम चल। अरे नहीं ऐसे कैसे? देखिए ये तो गलत बात है। अब आप लोगों ने कहानी सुनाई है एक तो मैं भी सुनाऊंगा ना? देखिए मेरी कहानी में एक शर्त है। इसमें डरना मना है। वो कहते हैं ना? जो डर गया, समझो मर गया। Dead meat। तो ये कहानी है सात दोस्तों की, जो कहीं घूमने जा रहे थे, क्या चानक? उनका ट और ये कहानियाँ सुनते सुनते सारे दोस्त एक-एक करके बाहर जाने लगे लेकिन उन्हें ये नहीं मालूम था कि बाहर कोई उनका इंतजार कर रहा है और इस जीनियस की ट्रेजेडी थी कि वो वो लोगों के दिलों से डर निकालना चाहता था क्योंकि ये डर पूरी दुनिया को खत्म कर रहा है जब यहाँ है तो कितने लोग थे छः सात, लेकिन फिर भी डरे हुए, सहमे हुए। मैंने देखा, गाड़ी से उतरे, तो पहले वीराने का डर। I cannot stand fear, क्योंकि डर का सामना नहीं करो, तो डर मार डालता है। लेकिन तुम्हारे दोस्तों को अब कभी डर नहीं लगेगा। मैंने उनका डर खत्म कर दिया है। तुम्हारे सारे दोस्त मर चुके हैं। तुम्हें अब भी डर नहीं लग क्योंकि तुम सोच रही हो कि ये भी एक कहानी है। Oh, stab him. But I like you. तुम डरती नहीं हो। तुम अच्छी लड़की हो। Relax. आराम से, आराम से। अब तुम्हें डर लगा? हाँ? We're gonna get Akshay now that there's water. Pretty girl running in the rain in a horror movie. It's kind of like a staple. She hasn't fallen down though yet. Not even raise your arm up in defense? I'll give you a headache.
not our heroine. The tragedy of it all. This is why you should learn to change a tire faster than an hour. These guys are not very observant. <laughs> they don't even care. No. Who's this? Oh, hey, that what's was up? It was just a murderer. Inspector Sub. She's a good Oh, because she's dead. Yeah. Still men. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Even in the afterlife, men are still scary. <laughs> oh, at least you're with your dosties. <laughs> hey, buddy. I know I murdered you, but we're pals now. <laughs> That's a comforting message to know that if you were murdered, you'll be in eternity with your murderer. Mm -hmm. And friends. Yeah, I like it. Nice. 2000. Three. Van Nuys, Van Nuys. Uh, definitely had some 2003 uh, marks on it. Yeah, for sure. it did have the the, uh, two, the early 2000 vibes. Uh, I didn't understand why, like the whole need for actually the the main storyline of like it just came out of nowhere. That, yeah, I know. They happened to stop somewhere there where there was a murderer just to like yeah. kind of add, yep. I guess, another horror element. So I gave it a silver. Yeah, yeah. I was, gave it a silver. I think it was a fun I, watch. I'd, if if it like if Indrani had it on at home. I'd, be like, I'd sit oh. down and watch it with her. Especially the Bowman part. Yeah. I mean, well, I'd watch it again. That, was that your favorite one? Yeah. Yeah, I mean. Well, that was my favorite one because it was really fun to watch Bowman in that role and the Tom and Jerry stuff. And I liked it. But I liked all of them when you realize this is this is more about Twilight Zone. Yeah, it's more about concept than actual right. scare. It's more psychological thriller Twilight Zone than it is. But it had a lot of that. We kept saying it over and over again. It had a lot of those B horror movie elements from yeah. the 80s. Yeah. My my favorite so, would be the Bowman and uh, the Scythe one. I think that one. One I think it would be a lot of fun to recreate. Uh, it as would. Well. So was the ghost one on the road. Yeah, I think that uh, poor poor Nana Petekar, he had a, I don't know who that actor was, but he was nowhere near on the level of Nana Petekar. No, no. Ab kal sab ka kal hai. Main insaniyat ko khatm karke ek nayi taqatwar nasl banaunga. He looks silly. Ab ye dunya meri hai. There's like a little football mask on. So I think it would be very easy to like, like do a good one, do a good one of yeah. that, and it'd and be easy. It's just real easy, car. just on a car at night. Yeah, and it's a, it's a, it's a fun kind you, of. You could do it in one day. Yeah, one it's night. It's kind of a fun kind of a a, a concept short. Yep. That, that I think you could do good that. Horror I think short. A lot of people would do. Uh, that a lot of people would like a lot. Um, but I don't know. Well, how would you how would you rank the uh, the shorts there? Um, my favorite is the uh, safe Bowman yeah, yeah, one. That's my favorite too. Um. Conceptually, my next favorite is the Hitchhiker one from the cemetery. Okay. The one we were just Nana talking about. Car, yeah. yeah. Um, and then I think I like the Apple one just because it's so yeah, off the it's rails. Silly. Yeah, I like that yeah, one a lot. It's a, it's a silly the one that kind of it could the film could have done without is the teacher being haunted by his old dead school friend. Yeah, that one was that one was kind of flat. That was the weakest one. Yeah. Um I I didn't know the the last short was going for a little bit. But the end kind of tied it in nicely, and I yeah. I, I like the end of the I did last too. one. Yeah, um, a lot of these obviously they just kind of had the early two thousands Bollywood acting in them. Yeah, and dubbing, uh, and so it didn't it didn't always help it. <laughs> um, but I think the uh, the concepts of most, I mean, even the first one I thought might have been. Um, might have even been the most. I mean, none of them are scary, but might have been no. the most scary. You um, could you could do this. And make them scary. Oh, yeah. You really could. Honestly, take out the main thing where they're telling stories and put, like, a Twilight Zone host in. Yeah, just the end. Exactly. It just would work. telling the stories. It would work. Have, like, have like um, uh, Nasir and Shah or, or like, or VJ, <laughs> VJ Raz. Somebody just narrating. They're like, picture this. But this is the first time today. It's not Mano, Yana Mano. Mano, Yana Mano. 
Because it's it's such a good concept. I know they tried to redo it here. Maybe they've done a, a Twilight Zone kind of thing before in, in India, but they they tried to do it recently. With, they did Jordan um, Peele tried to Peele. do it. I don't. I never watched it, and then I think it got canceled, or maybe it was just a limited. Because there's, I mean, the the Rod Serling Twilight Zones still hold up. They're always going to hold up. Mm -hmm. They're just really smart. There's some, yeah, they're just, just so smart. Genuinely, uh, like terrifying psychological stuff another good one did you ever watch night gallery mm -hmm. another rod serling one but he pushed the edge to scary more it mm -hmm. was a later show it was after prime time and it was rod serling's night gallery and it's him telling short stories like in the twilight zone and he's walking down this hallway with paintings and each painting each week he points to the painting and it's a story that you go into the painting to hear the story about and those were they were still twilight zoney but they were more leaning in the horror mm -hmm. element. They're cool. Yeah. I thought um, there was some... Uh, surprisingly, I, I think the, the, the... Even though in some of the shorts there were some bad acting, probably the, the worst was probably the guy with Nana Petrikar, and then sometimes at the the, the last one, the, the main guy in the last one. Yeah. Um, and the silly laughter that's not laughter. Yeah. And but the, the worst acting was probably in the main story plot, um, I feel like. And then a lot of the actual stories, they got like real actors and but if there is a film genre that i'm very forgiving about bad acting and it almost has an endearing quality to it it's the b horror film yeah i mean that's just especially a b i'm not a fan of, slasher films just don't do much for me i don't get scared about a guy running around cutting people up it just doesn't scare me at I, all i don't know even know if it's supposed to be, though i i because I, I watch them i just watch them because it's fun yeah, but it did back in the day. Like Jason was scary. He was Freddy was scary. The thing about Have Freddy you though, them recently though, no, they're not. No, but they were in the day. <laughs> no. And the thing about Freddy that was scary is that he could get you in your dreams. There's no escape. You have to go to sleep, oh. and so he's gonna get you, oh. and you, you can't get away from him. Once you fall asleep, you're his. You're in his world. No. Um, if you watch them now, they're not and scary at all. Halloween, Mike Myers. It's a, he's a psychopathic slasher, and those were really. I mean. If you see, I don't know if you've seen any of the footage of audience reactions back in the day at the climax of Halloween, mm. when Mike Myers, when you think she's killed him and there's a shot on Jamie Lee Curtis and Mike Myers sits up, the audience loses their mind. I remember watching it. I was a kid and it was like, you've got to be kidding how is he not dead? And he's behind her. And he slowly gets up and starts walking to her. And everybody's freaking out. But slasher, like right now, everybody's talking about Terrifier 3 mm. for the gross factor of the slashiness, which, okay, cool. Eat a, eat a baby out of the womb. Boo, scary. Once again, I don't um, think it's actually supposed to be. I think it's just supposed to be fun. I guess. No, I think it's a, just a different thing that's not your they just, thing. Yeah, it's just not my thing. Uh, uh, millions love it. I mean, the whole Saw franchise is about a slasher, mm -hmm. as is the Terrifier franchise. Well, so Saw, I just, Saw's psychological and slasher. Yeah, that's true. Because it's it's that's sla true. slasher's more about somebody drunk coming to kill you. Right. That's more of like you did do this, that person's dead. If you don't do this, you're I dead. will say one of the better, and it's not a surprise because it's Flanagan. Somebody trying to kill you movie is hush. That's fun. I haven't seen it. That's fun. Um but I thought a lot of these were really fun, though. Yeah, um, I did, too. I enjoyed it. I like, I, the, I like it's a silver. It's not a bronze. It's I, a silver for I me. I like the concepts of a lot of them. Yep. I think, honestly, you could re like do very similar story. You can make it scarier now, obviously, because yeah. technology and more money. Um, I mean, I guess, I bet uh, this was almost an inspiration for ghost stories for on your Right, story. I bet it was. Uh, I bet it was. this was years. I mean, it's and a 20, almost 22-year-old film. Yeah. And for back in the day, I don't know that this was going on a lot. This is a pretty experimental, brave kind of thing to do that really wasn't going to garner a lot of. You're not going. It's not a family film. Yeah, I mean, you got some really good actors then too. Um, yeah, Bowman. It was beginning of Bowman's career. I know that obviously because I think his big break was with um, um, Dostana. What was it? I don't know, he's done a lot of movies. No, who directed um Unabai? Oh, uh why am I forgetting his name? 
Distracted Donkey. Directed, yes, uh, yes. Um, doggone it. Why am I forgetting? Uh, Raj Kamani. Uh, uh, Raj Kamani, yeah, yeah. Raj Kumar Harani. Raj Kumar Harani. Because he's how he got his break. Right. I mean, that movie was in 2001. This was 2003, so. So, very, yeah, it was early. Very early in his career. Man, that would be a fun concept to do. Yeah. Uh, Both of those. The, the, the hotel. Yeah. And the car. The car. The car one would be really easy to do. The hotel Very one would easy. be, you just need to find a, an abandoned place you could use. And you could kind of make it kind of obviously more Western. You could turn it into an Airbnb. It didn't have to be a hotel. Hmm. It's better as a hotel, though. With a basement. Well, you, That's the only needs, thing. No, it needs to be a hotel because it has to be a hotel. no smoking tank. Yeah, it has to be the hotel. And the only other thing that would be a challenge that would have some cost is you'd have to create the basement of... Dead bodies. Mm. There's props of dead bodies in bags now. Yeah, that's true. It's still it's a cost. Yeah. Versus the other one, you just get in a car and you're good. Yeah. Yeah. Nah. Lighting. Lighting. You're gonna have to do nighttime lighting. If and sound. I mean, you, but it's a it's an easy do. Honestly, you'd probably have to set up the camera in the car so you can drive it. How long did it take Locke to film? What did they do it in? Like nine days. Mm -hmm. It's because they filmed it like a play. Yeah. And so they just did If it. you've never seen Locke with Tom Hardy, do yourself a favor. The film's brilliant. Wonderful movie. Um, one of the most underappreciated films out there. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm happy with this one. This one's, Me too. Uh, this one's a, a, a quite a good part of the collection to yeah. a Hindi horror. It is. Um, I, I would put it in my top ten. And, and like, it has some fun elements uh, in it um, that kind of keep you engaged and... Some fun stories that are like, oh, that's an interesting concept. They turn into apples. That's great. Oh, that's so silly. <laughs> I love it. Um, <laughs> I love that. It's like, what are we going to do? We're going to turn them all into apples. We're going to turn them all into apples. That's great. It's almost like a Adam and Eve kind of situation. It is. Right? Very much. Um, the Forbidden Fruit. Did uh, Remco Pavarma write this or is he just producing? Mm. Don't see him in the credits for the writing. Just producing. Yeah. Um, that's great. I'm, I wish they would keep these up. Like the horror anthology, I think that'd be a good way to. Um, yeah, I was talking to a, a Bollywood actor just yesterday, actually. Um, not like a shower con or anybody, but. Um, and I said, "What's your favorite horror?" And he's like, "Hasn't been made yet. Talk to me in two years." Oh, <laughs> so you're making a horror? Then I said, "Hopefully, hopefully, and nice, like, yes, nice, um, <laughs> good." That'd be awesome. Yeah. Uh, anyways, yeah, that was a lot of fun. I uh, I enjoyed that one. Me Thank too. Thank you for. I know a lot of you had recommended this um, for a few years now. Early two thousands Bollywood always makes me nervous <laughs> because you never know what how much of early two thousands correct ness you're it's gonna a, get. It's and a there, crap shoot. There is some, and obviously in there, but uh, I think it kept it fun. So. I do too. Uh, if enjoyed you enjoyed it, it's also on YouTube. You saw a very good version because copyright reasons of the XC full and coverage of this and other. Indie films and other Patreon. horror watch alongs. You can over to Patreon, oh, Patreon or channel memberships. I'll put a link in the description below. So go check that out. Uh, let us know what our next uh, Hindi watch along horror movie yep. for the month should be. Uh, Bowman. Hindi or otherwise. Bowman, of course. Uh, and uh, anything else we need to know.